Choosing the right engine oil is one of the highest impact, lowest cost maintenance decisions you can make for an engine. The viscosity grade, those numbers like 5W30 or 10W40 printed on the bottle, tells you how an oil behaves in both cold starts and at normal operating temperature. The following comprehensive discussion explains what those numbers mean according to the SAE J300 standard, how these oils differ in cold and hot conditions, and what that means for engine protection, fuel economy and practical use. It concludes with a clear recommendation framework that can be applied to any vehicle. According to SAE J300, the international classification that defines engine oil viscosity grades, the standard sets test methods and the required viscosity ranges for each grade. In a 5W30 oil, the 5W designates the winter or low temperature grade, which specifies the oil's maximum allowable cold viscosity measured by cold cranking simulator and pumping tests so that the oil flows properly and the engine can be cranked at low ambient temperatures. Lower W numbers mean better cold start flow. The 30 in 5W30 represents the oil's kinematic viscosity band at approximately 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is roughly the normal operating temperature of an engine, and it implies a high temperature high shear, HTHS, viscosity floor for load bearing capability. For SAE 30, the kinematic viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, falls in the range of about 9.3 to 12.5 centistokes. CST. In a 10W40 oil, the 10W means it is thicker than 5W at low temperatures and passes its cold tests at a warmer temperature. The 40 means a higher kinematic viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, generally between 12.5 and 16.3 C cest, and a typically higher HTHS viscosity in practice. This means the oil will remain thicker at operating temperature than a 30-grade oil. In short, the first number and the letter W govern cold temperature performance, while the second number indicates how thick the oil remains at running temperature. When comparing cold versus hot viscosity behavior, 5W30 flows more easily at low ambient temperatures than 10W40. This improved flow reduces crank resistance, improves oil circulation to bearings at startup, and minimizes wear caused by delayed film formation during the first seconds after ignition. The difference can be understood through a simple analogy. At refrigerator temperatures, syrup thickens and pours slowly, while runny honey flows easily. The W number tells you which oil will pour sooner in cold weather. At operating temperature, 10W40 stays thicker at 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, than 5W30, producing a stronger hydrodynamic film under high loads and high temperatures, but also increasing viscous drag. Under prolonged or high heat use, oils can thin out through mechanical shear, breaking down viscosity improvers, and through oxidation, chemical thinning. In severe high temperature duty, an oil with a higher base viscosity and good shear stability, often a 40 grade or a specially formulated synthetic 30 grade, retains its protective film thickness better. From an engine protection standpoint, several technical concepts come into play. Film strength or hydrodynamic film thickness depends on viscosity. A thicker oil, meaning one with higher kinematic viscosity and HTHS values, produces a thicker fluid film that separates metal surfaces and reduces boundary contact under high loads. Consequently, 10W40 generally provides a stronger film at operating temperature than a typical 5 du 30 However, Shear stability is also important. Multi-grade oils use viscosity index improvers, polymers, which can break down under mechanical stress, reducing effective viscosity. A well-formulated synthetic 5W30 can actually have excellent shear stability, whereas a poorly formulated 10W40 could shear down more than a high-quality 5W30. The HTHS numbers and the product's technical data sheet should always be reviewed. Oxidation resistance is another crucial factor, Higher operating temperatures accelerate oxidation, but additive packages, antioxidants, detergents and dispersants, along with base oil quality, control this degradation. Thicker oils do not automatically resist oxidation better. Formulation quality is the key. Good modern synthetics, whether 5W30 or 10W40, contain robust antioxidant and detergent packages to manage oxidation and sludge formation. Overall, 
10W40 tends to provide greater margin against metal-to-metal -metal contact in high heat or high load situations, while 5W30 reduces startup wear and often improves fuel economy when used in engines designed for lower viscosity. In terms of ideal applications, 5W30 is best used when operating in cold or moderate climates because its lower W rating improves cold start oiling. It is the go-to grade for most modern passenger cars engineered to run on 30-grade oils, particularly because many OEMs specify 5W30 or 0W20 for emissions and efficiency. It also provides a small fuel economy benefit in highway or city driving due to lower viscous drag. Conversely, 10W40 is best suited to hot climates or when the vehicle experiences sustained heavy loads, towing or performance driving, where higher operating temperatures demand a thicker oil film. It is also a strong choice for high mileage or slightly worn engines, where the thicker operating viscosity helps compensate for increased clearances and can reduce oil consumption and noise. Many older petrol or diesel engines originally specified 40-grade oils, making 10W40 appropriate for them. Manufacturer recommendations are central to any oil decision. Always begin with the OEM manual, as manufacturers specify viscosity ranges for given ambient temperature windows and engine designs, based on detailed knowledge of oil pump clearances, bearing tolerances, emission systems and warranty conditions. The SAE grades and API or ACA specifications serve as tools to fulfill OEM guidance. Deviations from the recommended grade should be made cautiously. For example, if a vehicle designed for temperate climates is moved to a much hotter region, stepping up one viscosity grade from 5W30 to 10W40 can be appropriate if the engine's condition and oil specifications allow it, and if the driver understands the trade-offs in fuel economy and potential oil pressure changes. It is essential that any replacement oil still meets the OEM's performance specifications, such as API SAN or CK4 or ACEA A3B4 or C3. Modern engines often require low saps, sulfated ash, phosphorus, sulfur formulations, to protect catalytic converters, so viscosity alone should never be the deciding factor. From a maintenance standpoint, oil change intervals depend on the oil type, synthetic versus conventional, the vehicle's duty cycle, and manufacturer guidance. A high-quality synthetic 5W30 or 10W40 with robust additives often permits equal or longer intervals than conventional oils, but following the OEM's recommended interval remains the safest approach, especially under warranty. Thinner oils with lower viscous friction can offer small but measurable fuel economy benefits. Switching from 10W40 to 5W30 may yield fractional percentage improvements, small in isolation but meaningful over thousands of miles. Regarding wear prevention, for short cold commutes, 5W30 provides better startup protection, while 10W40 benefits engines that experience heavy loads, high heat, or existing wear. Additive chemistry and base stock quality are as important as viscosity grade in determining real wear protection. When comparing the two side by side, 5W30 and 10W40 differ across several key metrics. The SAE cold start rating for 5W30 is 5W, giving better low temperature flow, while 10W40's 10W rating makes it thicker at cold temperatures. The typical viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius to 12 degrees Fahrenheit for 5W30 lies between 9.3 and 12.5 CST, while 10W40's range is 12.5 to 16.3 CSINT. High temperature, high shear viscosity is generally lower in 5W30, but can be competitive in high-quality synthetics. 10W40 typically offers higher HTHS and better film retention under heavy load and high heat. Cold start protection is superior in 5W30, but only adequate in 10W40 under mild cold and poor in severe cold. Conversely, high temperature or heavy load protection is good in 5W30 depending on formulation, but better in 10W40, which offers a higher margin of safety for towing and performance. Fuel economy slightly favors 5W30 due to lower viscous drag, while 10W40 usually causes a minor efficiency penalty. Climate preference also divides the two. 5W30 suits cold to temperate conditions and 10W40 suits temperate to hot climates. Typical 5W30 users include modern car owners in cold climates or those focused on efficiency, while 10W40 users are often drivers of older or high mileage vehicles 
or those who tow or operate in hot regions. The strengths of 5W30 are easier cold starts, lower drag, and widespread OEM approval. Its drawbacks include less protection at extremely high temperatures or loads and less specially formulated. The advantages of 10W40 are stronger film retention and potential reduction in oil consumption for worn engines, balanced by drawbacks of higher viscous losses and worse cold flow in very low temperatures. In real-world practice, the best oil choice depends on specific conditions. For example, in a cold climate daily driver such as a modern petrol compact that endures winters from 10 to 30 degrees Celsius, 14 to 22 degrees Fahrenheit, and frequent short commutes, 5W30, or even 0W20 or 0W30 if the OEM allows, should be used because it flows more readily on cold starts and provides faster lubrication to bearings. A high-quality synthetic meeting the correct API or ILSAC specification is ideal. For a high-mileage older vehicle that experiences moderate to hot climates and some oil consumption, 10W40, or sometimes 5W40, is recommended. Its thicker viscosity re-establishes a strong oil film in worn clearances and reduces consumption and noise. A high detergent additive package is important and oil consumption should be monitored regularly. Finally, for a performance car or one that operates in high heat environments, such as a turbocharged vehicle driven aggressively or used on track in ambient temperatures exceeding 30 to 40 degrees Celsius, 86 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 10W40 or a manufacturer recommended 5W40 or 0W40 performance oil is best. The higher viscosity and robust HTHS help resist shear and film breakdown during sustained high loads. If the OEM specifies 5W30 but the car sees track use, a track-specific oil that meets the engine's HTHS and wear requirements, or the manufacturer's alternate track use specification should be selected. In expert summary, always start with the OEM manual, as it forms the basis for both warranty and longevity. Match both the viscosity grade and the performance specification, API, ACA or ILSAC, rather than focusing on viscosity alone. If you need all-season, cold start performance and your OEM permits it, choose FabW30 or an even lower W grade to reduce startup wear and improve fuel economy. If you regularly tow, drive aggressively, live in a hot climate, or own an older engine with higher clearances, choose 10W40 or another high-quality 40-grade oil to gain greater film thickness at operating temperature. Ultimately, quality matters more than numbers. A well-formulated synthetic 5W30 with high HTHS and a strong additive chemistry can outperform a poorly made 10W40. Always select a reputable brand and verify that it carries the proper API or ACA labeling.